Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another five minute Photoshop tip for today. Today we're gonna to be blending snow into our background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this picture that I got off of unsplash.com and uh, so you can download this one as well. We want to remove this sky first of all, so you can use the pen tool or the quick select tool. Just make sure that that sky is invisible. And then we're gonna replace that background with another picture of snow. Again, this is off of unsplash. Com. Use any type of uh, snow landscape or mountains or trees or anything that you want and stick that right behind the house. Then we want to do something for the foreground as well. So I've got this picture of snow also off of unsplash.com. Paste that onto your uh, house scene. Control Alt G will clip it to it. And now we're going to have this snow scene right here for the grass. So our snow in the grass doesn't quite uh, blend perfectly, so we're gonna have to warp it a little bit. Go to Edit, Transform, and Warp, and what you want to do is just slide that snow uh, up to the top so it reaches the very top of that grass. It can go up onto the house as well, but you really just wanna make sure that that grass is covered. Hit your check mark, and now we want to make a layer mask, and we want to mask out uh, the part where it's hitting this house. Now, what you can do here is you can let some of this snow hit the house. So you could just go back and paint a little bit of white on top of this house and it makes little snow drift effects here. So just use your brush and paint white right there on top of the house just for a little bit to make contact with the edge of this house. All right, you would also want to add a little bit of shadow to our snow right here since there is a shadow on the left side of this house. So just make a new layer on top of everything. Control Alt G to clip it there. And we're just gonna grab a nice little gray, bluish color, change your blend mode to darken. And we're just gonna paint a little shadow right there on the left side of the house. Okay, and then we're gonna make a new layer on top of this one, Control Alt G. And we want to add some snow to the roof. And what we want to do is just go to that snow layer that's on the ground, just use your lasso tool, grab a part of that snow, copy that and then paste it to that new layer. And so now you have this snow that can actually go on top of the roof. Just put it right there and then make a layer mask and erase the parts that don't need to be visible. And that way you've got a little bit of snow on the house where it should be. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is start making the lighting more balanced in this image. So I'm gonna go right above our mountains in the background. I'm gonna grab one of these grayish colors in the background, kind of the bluish gray color. And I'm just gonna kind of paint some dark blue grays, uh, like a little fog or atmosphere that's going right behind that house. Just makes it a little bit darker, a little bit less contrasty. Then we're gonna go all the way to the very top and we're gonna start darkening the whole scene. Let's start off with brightness and contrast. I'm gonna bring my brightness down pretty far like this. Then I'm gonna get a levels adjustment and I'm going to bring in my lights as well. Bring my blacks in just a little bit and also my midtones down. And then I'm gonna get a gradient map on top of everything and get a blue to a light blue and change that to overlay and then just tone that down as well. So we're making this scene a lot darker and a little bit more blue and that way we can add some more lights and some more snowflakes. All right, now we want to add some snowflakes to the scene. So I've went to unsplash.com and I found this picture of snow, which I thought was really cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a lasso tool and just select out a little bit of this snow right here. Uh, just copy that right there and then paste it onto a new layer. And what we want to do is invert it. So control I, which makes it kind of this off white color with a little bit of gray snowflakes, which is fine. Uh, and we just wanna make sure that those whites are pure white and that those blacks are pure black, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that layer, control click it, and I'm gonna go to edit and define brush preset and we'll call it snow. Now I've created a brand new brush and when I use it, I can start painting snow all over the scene, whatever color that I want to paint it. So I can just use uh, this brush and kind of paint snow all over the scene and I'll put some in front of the house and some behind the house. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and uh, I've already selected all of the windows here. So I've just made little selections around the windows. And I'm gonna go up to all of those uh, adjustment layers where I darkened the image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to erase uh, where those windows are at. So I'm just gonna paint black 
on all of these layer masks for these darkening layers right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a little bit of yellow in those same little squares there. So I'm just going to get my brush on a brand new layer and just paint a little bit of yellow like right inside of these windows. And by doing that, it looks like there is actually a light inside of the, uh, the house and it looks like it's illuminating. And so the next thing we'll do is we'll start to make these glow. All right, to get the windows to glow, what we want to do is make a brand new layer and get a nice yellow color. And we're just going to paint a little bit on the edges of these windows. So just a little bit of glow coming off of the windows, then make a new layer, put it inside of a group, call your group glows and change your blend mode to color dodge from the group. And then you just wanna take that same brush, a little bit smaller maybe, and just paint some nice bright colors right inside of these windows. With the same brush and the same layer, we just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, colors on the snow as well. So just use your brush and paint a little bit of uh, window reflection light right here on the snow. And then you can also make it a little bit bigger of a brush to get even more uh, glowing lights coming right here from the windows. All right, finally, we're gonna add a little bit of color grading. Go to selective color, go to your neutrals. Let's add a little bit of cyan. Let's take out a little bit of yellow. Let's go to blacks, take out some cyans, take out some magentas, yellows, and blacks, but mostly our cyans we want to take out. Then let's go to brightness and contrast, make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrasty, depending on what you're going for. And then to sharpen everything, make a brand new layer, control alt shift and E, we'll make it onto a new layer and then go to filter, other, high pass. Let's do our pixels around 3.5 and then change that blend mode to overlay. And now the entire image is sharpened. Guys, that's all I've got for this video. I hope that you enjoy these little five minute tips in Photoshop. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, I do have many other Photoshop tutorials. Just check the link in my bio and I hope that you have fun. But thanks for checking out this video and happy creating.